everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you a what I wear on my eye look and what I carry in my apron for work. I just came from work so I still have some eyeliner on. I took my eyeshadow off because my th only thing that stays the same is my eyeliner. Um, so I thought I'd show you and then show you also what I used to take off my makeup and what I carry in my apron. Shoe, yeah. Let's get into it. So what I carry in my apron, pretty simple. Wallet, phone necessities now we at work have a biometric finger verification thing to clock in but you know since my finger you know hates me and because I pick my fingers too much I have to use an employee time card because you know hates me and I just slide it through the machine and yeah and then I just have my state ID college ID card and my debit card and also, since I've been sick, and you can probably tell in this video that I'm going to be sniffling a lot and maybe talking a little different, it's because I do have a cold and my jacket's like annoying me. Okay. I do carry cough drops in my wallet. It's going to carry in here. And my wallet varies. Uh, I have a Tommy Hilfiger little ID card thing I use. I have this, and then I have my Michael Kors wristlet, which I was using a lot before I got this on sale. Coach door. So, yeah. All right, and then my phone, obviously. Phone. This is a picture of the coach store that I took when I went to a city. So, and then basically on here, I just have a bunch of random stuff. All right, this isn't even what's in my iPhone video. What am I doing? All right. So for work, um, I always wear deodorant, and then I always wear a perfume. This is the one I just bought yesterday when I bought this, and sports where I'm wearing um basically this is the pink total flirt oh my god this jacket I love this stuff and my hair is just acting crazy so oh my god I'm losing it all right so yeah total flirt I love this one it smells kind of like the Michael like a Michael Kors and a Bath and Body Works combined it smells kind of like that, but yeah. And then usually underneath my register, which you're not supposed to do, I carry water. This is the one I just found lying in, I found in my room from this morning. Really, I have one right. I'm just drinking old water. Toss it off to the side. Here's the one I carry in my room. There it is. I put it there for reasons if my throat starts to like get dry. I can just wash it. Anyways. So on to the fun part of this tutorial of this um, video, I'm going to be showing you actually how to do my eye look. So I basically always do a smoky eye today. I just put on one color, but as you can kind of see, I kind of took it off, sort of, not at all, really. But um, I did keep my eyeliner on because that's the one thing that stays the same, except for special occasions when I use a different color, or I just change it up a little, which is very straight, very rare. But yeah, so it's peanuts there. Basically what I used to take off my makeup are the Olay Fresh Effects, everything off, Deluxe Makeup Removal Wet Cloths. These are amazing. I have two packages of these. I love these. I also love the Maybelline Facial Makeup Removal Wipes. Those are great too. Let's take off my makeup. Again, I use them just to take off the eyeshadow. So basically, what I mostly use, I like to make dark smoky eyes, is this palette from Clinique. It has a dark and a light, and then a blush. I don't usually use the blush. I kind of have my own blushes that I use. And then I'll show you how to do that in one second. I also, sometimes if I have like little blemishes, I'll use some concealer, which I use the Maybelline 115 Fit Me Concealer. But for powder, I usually use the Fit Me 110, 115 powder. Because, you know, I'm still pale. Looks like this, and it comes with with a brush <laughs> all right and then also I use the 88 color palette this is the cool shimmer palette and one color's falling out oh damn it all right this is just press right this is the one I used to today I'm just gonna pop right there this one's falling out so I gotta be careful that one's falling the one I have my hand on has been falling out so that's the 88 cool yeah you can see yourselves guys what's up but yeah, so this is the 88 Cool Shimmer Palette. I've been using this a lot for more multicolored eye looks. I kind of like doing different eye looks, but if I'm trying to stay, I always try. I always go back to this palette. 
I just bought, I just got it recently when my mom ordered a free gift. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do this. So I'm gonna take my glasses off. I know I look really odd and I look really like high without my glasses on, but that's because I can't see. So basically, where'd my brush go? Where'd the brush go? I'm gonna freak. Where'd it go? Where'd the brush go? I have two brushes and one is now missing. Okay, I guess I just have to use this one for both. Alright, so I have to use this one for both. But basically, I use an eyeshadow brush. Okay, I really can't. Alright, whatever. Okay. So I'm just gonna take the silver color and put it all over my lid. I'm using like the ends of it. Or the sides of it so it doesn't get the dark one in there. Oh, it's still uh, some colors on it. Ugh. It's coming out bad. Alright, let's see. So I'm basically just putting it all over my lid. I gave up. I'm using my finger. Alright. And then now I'm going to take the darker color that dark brown, black color and I'm gonna put that all over my crease so I'm just gonna take that dip it in Okay, my, I'm doing this without like a legit mirror, so it's like going all, all the place. Okay. My left side always turns out better than my right side. For some odd known reason. Oh, that is ten times better, that left side. So that is basically my eye look. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Pardon my language, I did not mean to swear. I'm very sorry, I usually never swear because I just can't, I really cannot see what I'm doing right now. My glasses back on, see how it came out. Oh, came out good. All right, and then basically, then I just put the powder on my face. I'll just quickly do that, but I'm taking it right off. Just go. Damn it. Found the brush. This is the brush I use. Let me get the powder. Okay. And then just basically do it all over my face. Okay, you guys get the point. I'm gonna look like a freak, but I don't care. Okay, then the next is choosing my lipstick. Alright, so this varies. If I do a dark look like this, I kinda like to go dark with the lips. I know you're not supposed to do that, but you know. I didn't really listen to the fundamentals of makeup, but, you know, I also carry a lip balm with me. And this varies too, but this is a U.S. one. So basically, I just picked out a few colors that I like to wear a lot. They're these five colors. You can't even see them. I'm very sorry. They're these five colors. Four of them are MAC. So basically, the first one I like to wear is this one, and it's 17, 715 Hibiscus Pop. It's basically that, and it's basically just a light pink, but very, very pigmented. Like that. I'll show it to you on. And the majority of the time, I just use a Baby Lips lip stick. I mean lip gloss to take and to make it stay long and lasting. But basically this is what the hibiscus pop looks like. I thought that would help, but it, I guess it didn't. Okay. okay. And then we have another one over here and it's the Viva Glam Rihanna. It's the red one, the bright red. I 
Ironically, this was my recital look, ironically. Just with pounds and pounds and pounds of makeup. And glitter. Okay. Next, we have a Miley Cyrus, and this is her Viva Glam from MAC. I also have a lipstick, lip gloss, which goes with it. Oh, also, I found this out on Pinterest, but I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Miley is coming out with a new Viva Glam lipstick in September, on September 8th, which is the same day I go back to school. So, at midnight, I'm going on MAC Cosmetics and getting it. Okay, side note. Alright, anyways. This is an amplified finish. So. Like my favorite one. I think I wore this for dance pictures. Pretty sure. No, I wore, um... Girl by time. It's coming up way later than it is. But yeah. And then, okay, this video is already 11 minutes on. I'm very sorry, y'all. And then the last two. This is the one I most normally wear, and it's the Lauren Aquatics Collection, and it's Pet Me Please. And it's a crossed finish. It kind of blends in with my skin, but that's what I kind of like about it. Oh. Oh. Get it inside your mouth. Ugh. And then this one is my favorite one. It's a matte, it's a satin finish, and it's called Steam Heat, and it's from the Wash and Dry Collection, which just came out, or came out a couple months ago. Oh. It's one of the ones I actually really love. I love very, very, very bright colors like this. Again, I kind of like to wear dark and bright colors with the eye look. Sorry, my light laptop is so shaky. But yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will talk to you in my next one. And if you have any requests, please leave them down below. And if you work with me and you know who you are, if you work with me and you have any video requests, please come talk to me. I had a couple of people today at work come talk to me saying they want to see what's in my bag video, so that'll probably be one of my next upcoming videos. And I told them today I would shoot this, even though I really don't feel good. But yeah, so if you're watching this and you work with me and you have any video requests, please leave them. You can either, if you have a YouTube channel, comment down below or see me at work and I will write them down. So yeah, or you can write them down and give them to me. I don't care. But anyways, I will talk to you all later. Okay, bye.